He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Jesus woke me up this morning, started me on my way. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Oh, he's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Jesus woke me up this morning, started me on my way. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Oh, he's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Jesus woke me up this morning, started me on my way. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Oh, he's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Jesus woke me up this morning, started me on my way. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Oh, he's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Jesus woke me up this morning, started me on my way. He's the joy of my salvation. Yes, he is. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you, little Bruce Lee. Good morning, Sister Banks. Good morning, Sister Pam. Good morning, DJ Forgiven. Good morning, Sister Turner. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Polk. Good morning, Sister Pinckney. God bless you. Good morning, good morning, Reese. God bless you. Good morning, Grace. God bless you. Good morning, the Rock Church of Brockton. God bless you. Good morning, Dr. Harrison. Good morning, Miso Chrissy. God bless you. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Sister Rickenbacker. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Roberts. God bless you. Good morning, good morning, Elder Adams. God bless you. And Sister Adams, good morning, Sister Johnson. Good morning, Sister Joanne. Good morning, Bailey. God bless you, my friend. Good morning, Sister Stokes. God bless you. And Deacon Stokes, good morning, Bishop and Lady Alday. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, Addie. Good morning, Sister Cleckley. Good morning, Sister Rosefort. God bless you, Sister Tibbs. Good morning, Sister Sutton. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Domingo. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Matthews. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Briscoe. Good morning, Sister Cheek. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Spencer. God bless you. Good morning, Lady Winston. God bless you. And Pastor Winston, good morning. Sister Scott, God bless you. Good morning, Sister Regina Dykes. God bless you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you, Sister Jackson Perry, Brother Perry and the family. Good morning. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you and your family, sir. Good morning, Sister Williams. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Lee. God bless you. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Sarah. Good morning, Sister Kreider. God bless you. Good morning and praise the Lord. God bless you, Sister Tibbs. God bless you, Dr. Haywood and your family. Praise the Lord to you. God bless you, Sister Matthews. Good morning, Sister Zanita. God bless you. Good morning, Katrina. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Ronza. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Lady Williams. God bless you and Pastor Williams. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we continue to hear praise reports from everywhere of healing and deliverance and strength strength and grace and provision, God just doing what we know God is able to do. And it comes through prayer. It comes through prayer. Jesus said, when you pray, believe and you shall have whatsoever things that you say. Hallelujah. I believe that. I believe that God answers and provides and makes ways and opens doors and works miracles simply because the people of God take the time to seek the face of God 
and to pray. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat. Or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. For those who are in, on Instagram, you can place it there in the chat on the screen. Or you can direct message Pastor RJD. Pastor RJD. And to everybody that's on the conference call, and we thank God for our conference call listeners. Everybody who is on um, YouTube or anybody can text in your prayer request. And that number is 336 567 Five three five eight. Text in your prayer requests. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are believing God with you for miracles, signs, and wonders. God doing great things in the lives of those who trust Him in prayer. Come on and join me now in the one hundred and nineteenth Psalm, Psalm one hundred nineteen, and we want to read verses one forty five through 152, 145 through 152. The Bible says, I cried with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried. I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevent me, prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness. O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them for ever. Thou hast founded them for ever. And I want to use for a thought this morning, Lord, help me keep your word. Lord, help me keep your word. I've tried to emphasize this as we have walked through this study of this 119th psalm that is a psalm about the word of God. It's interesting that the longest um, passage in the scripture is about the word of God itself because the word has so much life, so much power, so much strength, so much peace, so much comfort, in the word. So many things we gather from the word. We, we gather knowledge. We gather insight. We gather information. We, we tap into the righteousness of God through his word. And as I've been saying throughout this um, study, um, knowing the word is not enough. Reading the word is not enough. We must apply the word. We must apply the word and we must keep the word. And when the Bible talks about keeping the word, it's really talking about putting into practice what the word of God says. There are a lot of people who are students and who are um, scholars concerning scripture and they have devoted their lives to study and to the critical um, analysis of the Bible um, but that doesn't mean they're keeping the word because when you're keeping the word, you're living the truth of the word in your life. You're living the truth of the word in your activities. You're making choices based upon what the word says, because if the word is not guiding our decisions, our choices, our activities, our behaviors, our speech, then it really isn't doing that which the word of God was designed. The word of God was designed to be the light to the believer, to be the, um, the power of the believer, to be the insight and the wisdom of the believer, that the believer governs his life, governs her life based upon what is in the scripture. 
And that's why you have to know the word. That's why you have to believe the word. That's why you have to act in obedience to the word. And there is a total commitment in keeping the word. Lord, help me keep your word. I want to demonstrate what is in the word in my life. And, and there's an urgency about this. I want you to follow this. There's an urgency about this. Look at verse 145. I cried with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord. I will keep thy statutes from the inner part of my being, from my spirit man, from the inward man. I am crying to the Lord. I will keep thy statutes. Hallelujah. It's not just a Sunday thing for me. It is not just a Wednesday night thing for me, but it is a daily thing. Lord, give me the life that I can live according to your word. I cried, verse 146, save me, save me, deliver me. Because you know what? Everybody, hallelujah, is born in sin. Everybody is shaped in iniquity. But when the Lord saves, he delivers us from our sin so that we can live the word in our lives. That's the, that's the new birth process. That's the born again principle that I've caught, been called out of darkness into the marvelous light. I've been saved from my sin and I've been saved so that I can live the word in my daily life. I want to keep the word. Oh God, I want to keep the word. I want to, my life to demonstrate the word. And so I apply myself to the word of God. Verse 147, I prevented, or in other words, I was awake before the dawning of the day. He didn't stop the day from coming, but he was saying late in the midnight, early in the morning, hallelujah, I cried and I hoped in thy word. The source of faith, the source of faith, faith has to be in something. Faith has to be confidence in something. Where is your confidence? Hallelujah. Is it in the word of God? The word of God gives confidence. I'm up early in the morning crying before God because I hope in the word. My confidence, my strength, my faith is in the word of God. Hallelujah. What I'm living off of, what is driving, this is important, what is driving our faith? Saints, what drives our faith? What drives our confidence in God except the word of God? The word of God that is unchanging, the word of God that is sure, the word of God that is steadfast, the word of God that declares that it's impossible for God to lie so you can have confidence and trust in the word because the word is right all by itself. He says, my eyes prevented the night watches. I was up late in the midnight hour that I might meditate on thy word. Now, meditation is important. And years ago, in our order of worship, there was always a time of meditation. We've gotten away from that now, and we don't do that in the worship. But the meditation was designed for the saints to bring their thoughts together. Oh, my God, to bring their thoughts thoughts together to regulate their thoughts. It is disciplined thought that is focused on something. Focus on the promises of the word. And there needs to be time in your day. I know we all live busy lives and we rip and run from morning to night and by the time we get home we're tired. We're tired when we wake up. But I need everybody and I'm included to take time just to think about the word. Hallelujah. Just to think about the word because the word has to govern our thoughts. The reason why people do evil because they think evil. The reason why people do things that are ungodly because they, they are consumed by ungodly thoughts. But when you take the promises of the word, when you take the principles of the word and you just didn't hear it in the worship or hear it in the Bible class or hear it in morning prayer. But I'm going to take this word and I'm going to think about it. Oh, God, I'm going to think about this word. How do I live this? in my daily life? How do I walk in this in my activity? How do I allow this word to permeate my spirit and become engraved in my heart so that I can live what the word says? Thy word have I done what? Hid in my heart. How do I hide it? Through meditation, through thought, through application. I have hidden the word in my heart that I might not sin against God. Oh, hallelujah. Let me meditate. Hear my voice according to thy loving kindness. Oh, Oh Lord, quicken me according to thy judgment. Make me alive. 
make me alive. The, Jesus said, my word is spirit and my word is life. And there is life in the word. When I would be discouraged, when I would feel like giving up, when I would feel like throwing in the towel and just dropping out and dying spiritually, the word of God is quickening me. Because you know what the Bible says? The word is quick. That means it's alive and it's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You need the word to get in you until the word helps you read your own heart. The Bible says the heart is deceitful. The heart is desperately wicked. You can't trust your emotions. You can't trust your feelings, but you can have confidence in the word of God to guide your choices and to guide your decisions and to guide your morality and to guide your impulses to keep you in the path of righteousness. He says, quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. There, 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 there's so much evil in the world, so much ungodliness. It's just, I mean, literally the airways, the highways, the byways, the television, everything is saturated with sin. Everything is saturated in sin. And your only counter for the sin is the word of God. That as I said a couple of days, yesterday or so, uh, it creates righteousness. It forms righteousness in us so that we can live the will of God in our daily application. And they're coming closer. The mischief, oh God, you, you used to have to go out to get it. Now you can sit at your computer, you can sit at your phone, you can sit at your television and bring all the evil of the world into your spirit. But God, draw near unto me. Draw near. Lord, you are near unto me. While the mischief is coming, you're already there. You're already there to help me live, to help me walk, to make me, cause me to make better decisions. All thy commandments are truth. See, in order for the word to work in your life, you have to believe that the word of God is the truth of God. That the word of God is the judgment of God. That the word of God is the principles by which God expects people to live. He says, your commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. The word of God is not, and I want to say this, there is no upcoming update. I know you have, we have all these apps and programs and, you know, information, and they put out a new edition. They put out a new um, uh, update to the app. They put out a new addition to the writing, to the book. Well, let me just tell you something. There's not a new addition coming to the word of God. I know People keep trying to manipulate and change and undermine and fix the word to fix to, to fit our society. But the word was never designed to fit society. Society needs to fit in with the word. The word was never designed, hallelujah, to be updated because we have new ideals about ministry and the church and what we ought to be doing. Yes, methodology always is adjusted, but the principles of the word have to be sure and steadfast. If we start changing the word, and yes, there are people out there on every corner trying to manipulate what God's word says, but we read this earlier, forever in heaven, thy word is settled. The word of God is settled. The word of God is settled. Hallelujah. And your prayer ought to be, Lord, help me to live up to the word. Don't let me try to change the word. Don't let me try to manipulate the word. Don't let me try to undermine the word. But God, help me to live up to the word. Help me to keep the word. To keep the word, to walk in the statutes, to live in obedience to the word. Lord, forgive us where we failed. Forgive us where we've come short. Forgive us where we've strayed. But Lord, help us to live. Hey, God, and keep the word. Because the word is the life of the believer. And the word is the life. It is the only thing that is going to save is the word of God. Grass withers, flower fadeth. But the word of our God shall stand forever. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. And thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. My gracious God, I love you. I thank you for this day. I thank you for life and health and strength. For every blessing, God, you have bestowed upon me. Lord, you continue to show favor to us. And we're grateful. You continue to show mercy and grace to us. And we are grateful. Thank you for last night's rest. Hallelujah. And for waking us up this morning in our right mind, able to get out of the bed, able to get prepared to join this great cadre of believers, God, from all over the world. God, I thank you today for the morning prayer family. I thank you for everybody. And Lord, whether we've come through Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or the conference call, I'm thanking you that we are all here together. Hey, I'm Asiataye in this prayer room. And Lord, I want your glory, your power, your majesty, my God, to flood the prayer room right now because somebody watching needs a miracle. Somebody watching needs deliverance. Somebody watching needs healing or strength or support or God, just peace in their lives. But God, we're we're praying right now, God, that you would stretch out your hand because your arm is not too short, that it cannot save. Your ear is open, my God, to our cry. And we're praying, my God, for everybody in the prayer room. And we're praying for every request that has been sent, whether it's come by messenger or text or email, come through the chat. My God, oh God, you see them, you know them, and you are aware of them. And God, we're praying that you would deliver now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're praying for Diamond, we're praying for Tyree, for Breon, we're praying for Robert Davis Jr., we're praying for Mother Mary in Davenport today. We're praying, my God, that you would remember, hallelujah, April Bradley, Tiana Davis. Remember, my God, hallelujah, Alicia Bradley today. God, remember in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, Tracy Davis and Cameron Davis and Tracy Towns today. God, I'm praying for the children of the saints today, God. Oh my God, hallelujah. Some of our children are in trouble today. Some of our children are fighting so many things and being a attacked by the enemy, my God, on every side. But God, we're lifting up in the name of Jesus. We're lifting up, my God, these children, some of them teenagers, some of them adults, God. But we're praying in the name of Jesus, God, that you would step in and intervene. Some on a path of destruction, God. But we're praying in the name of Jesus that you would deliver them now by the power of the Holy Ghost. God, destroy, my God, the yoke of the enemy now. Destroy Destroy, my God, every burden. Destroy, my God, everything that is not like you and deliver them. God, I pray today, hallelujah, for Ralph. I pray for Walker, hallelujah, the Walker family, the Brown family, the Smith family. I pray for Michael, my God, comfort today. I pray for Adrian. I pray for Jay, God. Lord, I'm praying that you remember, oh God, Lashana Smith and Sula, that you remember, my God, hallelujah, brother and sister Sessions, that you remember Artis and Azaria and Shay, that you remember Tia today, that you remember Brandy and Jaleesa and Vanessa, God. Remember Tanya, my God, and Malik and Jaquise. Remember Takesha. Remember, my God, hallelujah, oh God, Ron and Latora. Remember, my God, Perry and Jennifer. Remember, oh hallelujah, oh my God. Remember Jerry and Sophia. Remember Jamie and Rebetta. Remember Theron and Javonda today. Remember Shawnetta. Remember Cassie. Remember Whitney today. Remember Phoenicia, God. Remember Remember Latasia. Remember Candace today. Remember my God, Jewel and Richard. My God, remember my God, Elder and Sister Taylor today. Remember Micaiah. Remember John Ransom. Remember every family in Refuge Temple today. God, remember Greater Refuge Temple of New York City. Remember my God, Greater Refuge Temple of Jacksonville, of Lakeland, of Charleston, of Washington, D.C. Remember Faith Refuge today. God, in the name of Jesus, remember the Community Church of Astoria. 
Victoria, the Community Church of Islam, remember United Refuge of Orangeburg, remember Shiloh Apostolic, oh God, hallelujah, oh God, of Atlantic City, remember Shiloh of Plainfield, God, remember Refuge of Pleasantville, Lord, every church that's represented on this call today, I want you to bless, remember Eastern Star today, my God, remember Greater Refuge of Durham, remember my God, Refuge Temple of Oxford, Greater Refuge of Henderson, God, Lord, every congregation, remember New Dimensions, my God, hallelujah, oh God of Trinidad, remember in the name of Jesus, Dabity Tabernacle, remember my God, then Strip Lane Church, remember Mission Church, God, remember the churches in the Dominican, remember the church in St. Lucia, remember the, ch the churches in St. Lucia, remember the church in St. Kitts, God, stretch out your hand, Lord, remember my God, every congregation, and God save and deliver, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, call people out of darkness into the marvelous light. God, remember Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. Remember Irvin Johnson. Remember Mother Pittman today. Remember Stacy and Trayvon. Remember Sister Sheila Reed. In the name of Jesus, God, touch and deliver. I pray for the backsliders today. My God, call them out of darkness. Lord, don't let them die in their sin, but God, deliver them and, oh God, oh God, help them to recover. I pray, God, that you remember those that are burdened and broken and depressed, my God, perplexed, troubled in anything, God, that you would help them today in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, because we know that you're able and we know there is nothing, nothing, my God, impossible with you. God, we're praying for the healing of the sick today. We know that you are a healer right now. God, remember, my God, Charles Manns. Remember Patrice Cheney. Remember, oh God, Cynthia Jackson Perry this morning. Remember Emma Brown. Remember Stacy Stewart. Remember my God, Diane Walker. We're praying for Lady Glasgow today, God. Remember, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Marquise Peterson, Mayola. Remember my God, Mother Queen Nash. Remember Mother Lorraine Walker. Remember Brother Jenkins. Remember Lawrence Davis today. My God, we're praying for Aunt Ida. We're praying for Danielle. We're praying for Al Hendricks and Ronald Johnson and Judy Cleckley today. We're praying for Stacy's grandmother. We're praying for Cynthia. Lord, thank you for what you're doing for Sister Nicole. God, continue that healing process. We're praying for Diane B. today. God, because we know that you're a healer. Remember, my God, Sister Jackie Poole. Remember Latasia. Remember Josiah. Remember Bruce and Robert. Remember Helen Bryant. Remember Mother Lorraine Fuller. Remember Evelyn Harrell Johnson. Remember Dolores Mitchell today. Remember Valerie Deese. Remember Pastor Betty Warner. Remember Maurice Mott today. God, remember Shelby. Remember George Martin. Remember Jackie Prince today. Everybody, Bruce, Levi's father, Zoe. God, touch the sick today in the name of Jesus Christ. God, remember, my God, hallelujah, Sis, Mother Helen Williams, Mother Pinky Davis. Remember Mother Revis, Mother Blunt. Remember, my God, hallelujah, Milton Hicks Jr. today. God, remember, my God, all of May Talford. Remember Mother Fleming. Remember Diamond Bradley today in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for Pastor Kinchin today for Sister Van Leer, for Sheila Hood, for praying for Sister Gertrude Austin today. Lord, we're praying for Elder Carol Thomas. We're praying, my God, for Marjorie, Sister Marjorie Thomas. We're praying for Miracle Destiny, God. Lord, bring healing today. Remember Mother Elizabeth Anderson. Remember, my God, in the name of Jesus, Minister Perkins. Remember Daniel and Xavier. Remember Deacon Adams today. Remember Deacon and Sister Harrison, Deacon and Mother Wilson. Remember Phil this morning. Remember Mother Virgie you do both. God, I'm praying today that you remember Mother Mary Williams. Remember, my God, hallelujah, Mother Lloyd today. Remember Mother Perry this morning. Remember Mother Meadows, God. Lord, I'm praying for Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary Gail Hardy, Missionary Marlene Roseman, Missionary Jesse Brisbane. I'm praying today that you remember Missionary Hodges. I'm praying, my God, for Sister Denise McLean. I'm praying, my God, for Mother Elizabeth Wilson, for Brother Carl. I'm praying Oh, God, for Deacon James Grant. I'm praying today, God. Hallelujah for Elder Tony Lemon. I'm praying, my God, for Philip Grant. I'm praying for Pastor and Lady Winston. Bishop and Mother D today. Apostle and Lady Keith, God. I'm praying, God, that you would remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, remember in your precious name. Oh, God, every soul. Hallelujah that is sick today. God, remember, my God, Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard. Oh, God, Mother. Oh, God, hallelujah. 
hallelujah, Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Close today, Mother Carol Coleman, Sister Shakaya Polk. God, I'm praying today that you remember Bishop Richard Phillips today, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold today, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop Brian Williams, Bishop William Jenkins, Bishop Johnny Davis today. God, remember him. God, remember my God. Hallelujah. All of the bishops that are ill today, touch them now. Remember my God. Hallelujah. Bishop David Smith. Remember Lady J today. Lady Kathy Forehand. Remember Lady Barbara Vincent today. Remember my God. Hallelujah. Lady Deborah Carter. Remember Apostle Davis this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, Apostle Patterson, God, in your precious name, touch and heal because we know that you're able. Lady Davenport today, God, touch the body now in the name of Jesus. Remember Apostle Herbert Evers, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle, hallelujah, Sylvester Norwood. Remember Brother Wiggins, Brother and Mother Sherrod, Mother Garland, Dr. Hallelujah Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother, Mother Jill and Mother Pride. I pray today for Elder and Mother Dugan. I pray for Elder and Mother Murray. I pray, my God, for Brother and Mother Chambers today, Mother Carter, Mother Moorhead. Oh, God, Lady Staten. Remember Pastor Carr and Minister Carr today. My God, remember in the name of Jesus Christ Elder, hallelujah, Tyson Elder Smith, remember Mother Foster, Henry J and Brother Cliff today remember my God in your precious name hallelujah, Mother Tanaj, Mother Holman, Missionary Simmons, I'm praying my God for Cynthia, Catherine and Duchess, I'm praying my God that you remember Marlette, Maurice that you remember Tony and Dennis and Cynthia and Kimberly, God, remember my God, Mother Jackson, remember Apostle Moultrie today, Lord look on everybody that might be in a hospital a nursing home, a rehab center even in hospice God you're the healer and by your stripes God we are healed. Lord I'm praying today that you would remember the grieving everywhere, everywhere God so many people have lost loved ones so many people have lost those oh God that have passed on but God we're praying today that you would touch and heal oh God the broken hearted and that you would bring peace and comfort to families. God remember the family and friends of Janice Hayesmore remember Pastor Granison and Rivas Remember the family of Bishop Marion Wright Sr. Remember Greater Emmanuel Temple. Remember Katari. Remember my God, Mother Carr. Remember Sister Deborah Horton, oh God, in the Page family. Remember Mother Hudson, my God, in the Sessions, and Sister Sessions and the family. Remember the Wiggins Taylor family. Remember Tiffany today, God. Lord, we're praying for the Hicks family, the Craig family, the Tyson family. Remember the Banks Richardson family. Remember Julia Boatwright Holden. Remember the family of Lawrence Ford today. Remember Remember the Brooks family. Remember my God, Trina Hicks today. Remember Janelle Rousen and her family. Remember Minister Jamie Carr and the family. Remember my God, Barbara Harris. Remember Mother Brian and her family and the loss of Tim today. Lord, I'm praying that you would comfort families everywhere and that you would give them grace. Remember Mother Walker and Mother Moya today. Remember my God, Jaleesa. Remember Jackie. Remember my God, Takesha. Remember Whitney and Phoenicia and Jerry and their families, God. I pray, my God, for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and the family. I pray for Dr. Carter and the family, for Apostle Phil Shekinah, my God, and the family. I pray, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus, the Qualls family. Remember Mother Harrell and the family, Mother Grant and the family, the Groover family, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family, the Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, and the Giles family, the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam her mom and her sisters. Lord, I pray today that you remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families, the White family, God, the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family. Remember the Nunn family, the Umstead family. Remember my God, Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family, Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdy's, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, God, the Bankses, the Ways, the Middletons, the Taylors, God, remember the Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannix, the Boogums, the Gleans, the Offers, the Matherins, the Briggs family, God, remember my God, hallelujah, the Taylors, the Phillips, the Josephs, look on the Davis family, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors, God, remember the Harbisons, the Austins, the Adams family, the Austin family, every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one, 
God. God, give them strength. I pray for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop and elder. I pray for every first lady, all the pastor's children. God, I'm praying today that you remember mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. God, remember in the name of Jesus, the young people. God, remember musicians, singers, and psalmists, the entire body of Christ today. And my God, strengthen the church. God, let the church keep your word. Let the church honor your word and live by your word. I pray today for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray, God, that you remember school employees and students everywhere. God, remember Northern High School. God, I lift up in the name of Jesus. I lift up, my God, that you would remember everybody that's working. Cover them, keep them, protect them. Everybody that needs a job, God, make provision. Everybody on a fixed income, God, continue to supply their needs and make ways. And Lord, look on this troubled, troubled world. Lord, trouble all over the globe. Wars, rumors of wars. Oh my God, natural disasters, man-made disasters. But Lord, you are the bomb in Gilead. So God, heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from unrighteousness, from hatred, from jealousy, from violence. Heal the land, my God, from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Lord, your people need you every day. So stand by us, guide us, keep us, walk in us, God. Live through us, God. And as you do it, we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and let's just bless God right now. Everybody on the line, hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Let's just give him praise. Let's just give him praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my wonderful Savior. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This is my declaration for today. Lord, your commandments are truth. What motivates me and what should motivate all of us to keep the word is that we know that the word is right. Hallelujah. We know that the word is right. We're not wondering about the veracity of the word. We're not wondering about the truthfulness of the word. We believe that the word is right. Hallelujah. We believe that the word is right. Hallelujah. And so the commandments of the Lord, hallelujah, are truth. His commandments reflect his integrity, his purpose, his will, his guidelines for each of our lives. Hallelujah. His grace, his mercy, all of that is reflected in the word of God. All of that we understand by the word of God. All of that we live according to the word. Why? Because the word is truth. The word is truth. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This press service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming, keep sharing the number, and stay with us each morning in prayer. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help Help us to do the things that we need to do. And we thank God for them. And we thank God for you. And if you desire to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can give online. Our website is www.refugetemple, N is in North, C is in Carolina.com, refugetemplenc.com, and you can give on the donate page. You can also give through the Givelify app. Just type in Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church and you can make your gift there. Or you can give by Cash App. And our Cash App is dollar sign, capital O-N-E, capital R-E-F-U-G-E, one refuge. 
one refuge and you can give and share and we thank you for your giving. You can go back and watch last night's Bible study. We've been talking about restoring the glory of God in your life and the fact that Satan can't hold the anointing that is upon your life. So go back and watch that. It'll bless you. Hallelujah. You. I want to also invite everybody to join us. Hallelujah. May 3rd and 4th in New York City at Greater Refuge Temple for Founders Day. Founders Day celebrating the life and legacy of our founder, Bishop R.C. Lawson. It is a benefit sponsored by the International Board of Bishops of the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ, of which I am the chairman, and we're believing God for a great, great weekend, and we're believing God to be a blessing to the education of the Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. So plan is the flyer is going up today. You can take a look and you can begin supporting that even before that in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to travel with us to the Caribbean, the flyer is already up, and it's long, along with the form to fill out so you can get information. We're going to St. Kitts, Jamaica, and St. Lucia, and we're believing that God is going to bless us in a wonderful way. So plan to go with us in the name of Jesus Christ and pray for the work that God will continue to bless. Look, thank you for being a part of morning prayer. Your presence every morning is a blessing to so many, and so many people are blessed because we pray together each day. So keep coming and keep praying, and as you pray, pray for me Pray for Lady Davis, pray for our children, pray for my father, my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple, that God will continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another, that the grace of God might overshadow and keep us. The Lord strengthen us daily so that we can keep his word. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.